Hello and good afternoon from Universal Orlando. We are here today for the Mega Movie Parade. We just started the video over here and we are in the perfect garage to start the video because we are going to see sort of like a nostalgic parade. We're also here because Brennan has not seen the sensational a symphonic spectacular nighttime show. Also, Brennan has not seen the preview center Epic Universe model. What the heck, Brennan? It's the day after 4th of July, so it's probably going to be a little bit busier today, and then also the parade debuted two days ago. The parade starts in about half an hour. This is pretty cool. They have some fun events going on at a the Red Coconut Club. Look at this massive minion over here. That is a massive minion, but we don't have time to take a picture right now. We need to get a spot for the parade. So they take about an hour just to get into Universal today between the parking toll plaza and then the ticketing entrance back there. So. We're here a little bit later than we wanted to be, but as long as we can find a spot for the parade. It's Universal's Mega Movie Parade is in technical rehearsal. Not all elements of the parade may be functioning. Parade may stop or be canceled without notice. So we're walking through Hollywood Boulevard to try to find a spot for the parade, which starts in 15 minutes. All right, so we got our spot for the parade. We're now inside and got some water because it is hot. The it sun is, is so right there. Hot. We're going to see pretty much all of these properties represented in this parade. Oh. It's about to start. <laughs> Some parade should be stepping off any minute. They did bring this like really crappy camcorder to record the parade. Maybe like a couple floats because if there was a parade to get a really really bad like quality version of a recording, it would be this parade that's like so rooted in nostalgia. So the parade is making its way to us right now, and there is no music at all. Woo! This is awkward.
get the Ghostbusters float. We totally saw the Ghostbusters come out, like the actual characters. Oh no! There it is, way over there. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man behind the gate. I'm gonna guess this is why it's a technical rehearsal, right? But well, that's just slightly awkward back behind the esoteric gate there. So the parade's going by again. And Brennan, what did you think of the Mega Movie Parade? I loved it. We didn't even get to see like the parade in its entirety, like music. We missed the Ghostbusters float, and then there's a couple like float stops here and there. But overall, it's a really cool parade. And like I think my favorite, favorite, favorite part of the whole thing, which it was just like getting to see Universal cast people as characters from these movies. It's not stuff that we've seen here at Universal other than like maybe Scooby-Doo, maybe Marilyn Monroe, but like in a parade and it was really cool and that to me was really exciting. All right, getting to see Doc Brown and Marty. Yeah, and then I think I like the audio was really cool where it's like the da 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 and it was like incorporated into every single float and some sort of like mashup of it. It was really cool. So I did film on this crappy little camera, so if I'm able to, I'll put some clips from this into the video. I just think it was really cool to get like really grainy footage it's of like, like older Universal properties. Super home movie style. Yeah, but I was trying to hold both cameras at once, so I, I don't know how I'm going to include this even if I can, but that was the intention of bringing this today. But as far as the parade itself, it was so much fun to see that originality just brought to life all of these Universal properties in such a cohesive way. That was really, and I'm, I'm sad that we did not get the Ghostbusters part of the parade. Same. And there could be other elements that we don't know that we don't even have right now because it's under technical rehearsal because there's a reason it was supposed to officially debut on July 3rd and then it was suddenly a technical rehearsal. So I don't know what elements are not present at the moment right now. And it could be like the music and other technical factors that may just be like, I don't know, subtle changes and additions leading into the future of the parade. But I want to come back and watch this so many times. I loved every single float. I liked everything that you did. Um, I don't know. This was a really cool parade. The puppetry, the performers. This is a great addition. Great job, Universal. It was fantastic. Now let's go we need to the to preview center. Dinner and go to the preview center. Or go to the preview center and then have dinner. We'll see. I'll figure it out. Yeah. So we decided to go and get dinner first. And where we're having dinner is somewhere that we've been a couple times, and we want to go back, which is. Minion Cafe. So we put it in the order and we're heading inside the Minion Cafe. We have to go to a table and say that we're here at a particular table. We're heading back into this back room for the first time. This is cool. So we put in the mobile order at the table here and we both got the banana beer. The b banana bread. The banana bread beer. <laughs> b -b 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 so I got the Uncle Drew's belly fill in pork sandwich, slow roasted porchetta, chimichurri sauce, mustard aioli, apple butter, bacon jam, arugula. Hawaiian pretzel bun and green banana chips, but I got uh, minion tots instead. And then Brennan got this over here, the Carl's Crispy Cauliflower, Crispy Cauliflower Flores. Flores. Whoops. With <laughs> sweet and spicy chili sauce, coconut blue rice, Thai cucumbers, and edamame. And then I got this to split. Um, this is the El Macho Nacho Hat. Crispy tortilla chips served with house-made guacamole inside of El Macho's signature sombrero. So lunch was delicious, and now we're heading back outside of the park. Really? That sandwich I think is the best sandwich I've ever had at a theme park. But we are heading to the preview center now. We have about a little bit more than an hour until Santa Sational. So they have these bubble ones that are apparently supposed to interact with the Mega Movie Parade. I don't know what capacity, but that's neat. Interactive stuff. So we're going to the Epic Universe preview center over here. I think we're going to Fat Tuesday really quick too. Okay, we just stopped by Fat Tuesday. We got a couple daiquiris. Yeah. And now we're heading over to the uh, Epic Universe Preview Center. We'll have about an hour to make it back to the park for Sensational, but we should be okay, hopefully. Brendan, I hope you are really excited for this. It is so cool. Mm -hmm. Did you download the app when you were here? I did. Okay. It's much more manageable in here. I know there's Kronos into Celestial Park, Super Nintendo World, Dark Universe, the Wizarding World, and the Isle of Burke. And there's a burning way over there. I'm particularly interested in seeing the dueling aspect of Starfall Racers. Over here, they did add these like maps over here, which is cool. So we've had the specifics of Isle of Burke and Super Nintendo World announced. Most recently, we've had the uh, details of Dark Universe announced. You can see like the burning windmill right over here, which is really cool. And there's a werewolf that's running by. We still need the details of. Um, the Wizard World of Harry Potter and Ministry of Magic over there, which we'll see, and then we'll have an entire theme park of announcements. So I'm going to come back once the specifics for every single land is announced to use the AR app, just so I can really walk through every single land and every single attraction that's been announced for each land. I'm definitely going to be replaying Mario 64 Yoshi's my guy! 
and I love these bum arms. Looking at a lot of the merchandise that we're probably going to be picking up. I got you the headband a little while ago. All right, we're heading back out into City Walk and back over to Universal Studios for Sensational, which starts in like half an hour. They're selling some of the classic Universal properties here. There's Jaws and like ET over here was Ghostbusters. And then back to the future. This is much better right now than it was earlier. It was so busy earlier. The sky looks beautiful right now. It didn't rain. Finally, it has been raining every single day. I don't even think that the parade stepped off yesterday, which is ironic because it was July 4th. And like part of the parade is like canon with July 4th, which is the Jaws portion. So I'm hoping that there's not gonna be too much of a crowd even though the parade was very busy earlier. So I decided to take this camera back out and I just think it's so interesting just this camera quality versus this camera quality and just how it looks. This really feels like an old day at Universal Studios Florida. Like this could have been filmed in the 90s at Universal. And then going back to this camera and just seeing the distinction between the two, I think it's just really cool. I'm trying to find a good spot for the show, which starts pretty soon. It seems very busy over there, but we should be able to find a spot somewhere. We've made it to Central Park, and let's see what sort of a spot we can get. So we have a spot way down over there, but I wanted to sort of scout over here to see if there was a better place to stand, but I think we're going to stick with the spot that we have.
this over, and we are making our way out of Central Park. We were very close to the exit, so that is very uh, lucky. So Vernon, did you like it? Oh, it was beautiful. Wasn't it awesome? All right, we are heading out of the park now, back to the parking garage with thousands of our closest friends. It is busy in CityWalk right now. And technically, because today is July 5th, happy Halloween, right? Happy Halloween! We probably didn't choose the best time to come to Universal, just on a holiday weekend, but I'm glad that we finally get to see the parade and pretty get to see everything else that's been going on. I'm finally caught up, and I'm like, yeah, And now we are heading all the way down, all the way down and up to my car, which has air, air conditioning. conditioning. So we parked at the very end of the row on the top level of the garage, but we are driving back home. It is very late. We are tired, but we got to see the mega movie parade. We got to go to Minion Cafe. Mm -hmm. We got to see the preview center, and then in the night with the Sensational and Symphonic Spectacular. It was just like a wonderful, universal-centric evening. I'm happy I feel caught up on everything. I'm happy I got to see that parade. That parade is so cool. I'm happy I got to see Sensational. I say that because a lot of people still don't want to say it. It was such a beautiful show, and Universal just tops themselves every single time. So, I already did most of this, but I told you to not watch my videos so that you could experience the yes, person. Do you think I, that was worth it? Yes, okay. I, I think it was really worth it, because I do watch Roy's videos, just like everybody else. So, I purposely skipped this one so that I could be surprised with everything, and I'm very happy I did. I love Universal's, like, synergy right now, where they really are just <laughs> full into the nostalgia of just, like, what makes Universal special. To a lot of people. Well, I, I told Roy this earlier, but I love the parade and I love Sensational because it's really bringing life back into that park. I think um, with the just like the attention around Epic Universe happening, and then um, Islands of Adventure having like most of the e-ticket attractions right now, Universe is kind of like dipping a little bit below. So I think this stuff is like really bringing some life back into the park, and it was so exciting to see. It really was. I don't know. I had a great night. I did too. And I can't wait to go back and watch this parade multiple times in the future just to see what the non-technical rehearsal, rehearsal version of it is. Yeah, gotta see that Ghostbusters blurb. Yeah, so thanks for, we sort of saw it, but thanks for watching. We will see you soon. Have a great day and goodbye. Bye!